have you guys ever experienced what thirst is? Not having to drink a single drop of water for days. These people have. Our fridges are full of water. Please give whatever you can for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they can have something to drink. Has your porn and sex addiction affected your studies, work, marriage and family relationship? Are you stuck with feelings of guilt, shame, remorse and despair? Or has your addiction progressed from pornography to zina? Well, we're here to tell you you're not alone. Itaskia is the place where Muslim males and females struggling with pornography addictions can find recovery and freedom. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Yes, you heard right. Kim Kardashian is willing to eat feces. Hoopoo, yes? Like Dave Chappelle says. Dave Chappelle says, it's doo-doo, baby. Exactly. She will go to that level to stay young. Whereas, however, the Muslim woman is the one that is oppressed. They are oppressed, not the Western woman who gets her buttocks, her lips, her eyelids, her hair, her skin, her knees, her toes, everywhere, plastic surgery. Nothing is left real. It's all fake. No, they've got freedom, but the Muslim woman is oppressed. Let's study and look at this brothers and sisters a little bit carefully. And we're going to touch up on this amazing book, which deals with the pandemic, which is greater than any virus, which has come into every single household of girls and women made to feel ugly and uglier so that they cannot even leave the house without makeup. And they dare to tell us that the Muslim woman is oppressed because they choose to obey the creator rather than the creation, because you're bound to follow something regardless. So the one who chooses the creator is oppressed, but the one who follows the creation's um, a never ending list of beauty is not. Can you imagine, guys? She's going down the route, willing to, and people see this as a joke. It's not a joke, I promise you. If she ate poo poo, a doo doo, and she realized that she stays young, I promise you. And if she made her own product, doo doo product, yeah, whatever it may be, okay, and said, here you go, and charged $39.99, or you know what, $99.99, I promise you, every single woman, sadly, even Muslims who have fallen to their sisters, would even be buying that product. Why? Because they want to be beautiful for the rest of their life. They want to and be young. But the point is this, guys. Allah in the Quran promises that. And when you don't believe, of course you're going to be seeking in this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised the believing woman eternal paradise, beauty. You want to be beautiful eternally? Jannah. Allah is promising you that. For those who believe, your reward is going to be there. Allah says in the Quran to the disbelievers, which say in a nutshell, I'm just paraphrasing guys, not word for word, that they think that what they do, an evil do, a disbeliever, and a believer is going to be the same on the day of judgment? Are you for real? Guys, Allah says never. Because the woman, the sister who observes her hijab, who stays away from zina, and even if she fell into zina, she repents and fixes her ways. A sister who is trying to observe the hijab, a sister who uh, uh, puts her creator before the creation and puts the hijab in the correct way and tries to keep her modesty and does these actions. Do you really think that she's going to be in the same category on daraja, on, 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 on um, level with a woman who chooses to show, show whatever she shows, whenever she likes, sleep whoever she likes, eat whatever she likes, do whatever she likes? Never, never. Indeed, Allah's, one of Allah's names is He's the most just. Yes? And He would never let your works go to waste. So yes, you're bearing the heat and whatever it may be, but eternally you are going to be in bliss, inshallah, because that is exactly what you will deserve. And that is exactly the point of my video. Guys, let's look at some of the statistics. It is unbelievable. Let's go to this part, which I've named Sad and Hungry. My bookmarks, yeah? And this is what she said. This, they, they talk, they, she's interviewing someone called Jamie. And Jamie laughs as she says this. A sad, resigned, uh, resigned type of laugh, basically. She calls the emphasis on woman's thinness in Korea. Obnoxious. But still feels bound by this standard. She casually tossed out that she had starved herself for a period of time during college. Going as long as she could possibly go without eating anything. Then, if she felt like she was about to pass out, she would eat a yogurt. Don't worry, the Muslim women are oppressed. Of course, the Muslim women are oppressed. Yeah, let's go to another one. And actress Jennifer Lawrence recently called out those who fat shame. In an interview with Yahoo, CEO Marissa Mayer, Lawrence asked, what are you going to do? Be hungry every single day to make other people happy? The Western women are realizing that, look, this is a standard that they've given us. We cannot reach. The system is rigged. There is nothing that we're going to do that's going to reach it. I encourage every single woman to buy this book, for God's sake, yeah? We have this disease of beauty sick. We are doing anything and anything to look young and beautiful. And I believe this is the reason why the Western woman is depressed, suicidal, anxiety, and all these mental disorders. Why? Because they have to meet these standards that they could never, and they are made to feel uglier and uglier. Whereas Islam says, no, free yourself from these shackles and embrace yourself how you are because you are a human being. You are a woman that has more to offer than your beauty.
that's all I have to say. Do not forget to check this video that I had a discussion with a Saudi girl who had a similar question, a very genuine sister. This will give a better idea of what I'm talking about. For now, we'll let the Kim Kardashian and the Western world, Western woman, carry on eating poo-poo uh, while we stick to obeying our creator, alhamdulillah, in a dignified way, and that the Muslim woman, inshallah, in paradise, will have eternal beauty and eternal youth. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.